Shetland Sheepdog, or Sheltie as they're very often called, is a fabulous, active, bright, very smart little dog. They're fantastic with children. They don't have any aggression and they make super pets. They fit easily into the car. They're always pleased to see you and they just are a fantastic breed. Shetland Sheepdog is one of our more popular of the herding breeds. Um, you have to remember they do have a herding past, but that does make them very trainable, so they're a very biddable dog. They do very well in obedience and in agility. Really, the sky's the limit with a the Sheltie. They can do anything. They're not going to jump as high as the bigger Border Collies, but they're certainly going to do it with as much pizzazz. Shelties are fantastic to live in a flat because they're so small and easy. But they also, if they live in the country, they can go with a horse all day. They're, they're so adaptable. Sometimes they can be a little bit shy with strangers. So if we got one in, we maybe look to rehome it to a quieter household um, where there wasn't too many people coming and going. Lovely companions. On the Shetland Islands, when there were few and far between the houses, the dog would get to know its own family and so it would be a bit suspicious of anybody that approached the, their property. That's why they're, they're a little bit reserved towards strangers. They make good house dogs because of their slight reserve. They'll let you know if there's anyone around that shouldn't be. A normal healthy fit shelter needs a good hour of running. Not, I don't mean jogging with the family, I mean out in the fields having a good run. If you can't do that then they're happy to go on the lead but if you wanted them to go on a marathon they'd go with you because they're hardy, they're very like, like the Shetland pony. Anything that lives in that kind of climate has to be hardy. There has been some timidity in some of the lines so you need to think about checking the breeder because they can be quite noise sensitive. And because of that, you need to start your socialisation programme very early on. Get them used to life, get them used to loud noises, make all of that a game, make it a very positive experience. The big thing is the door. If anyone comes to the door and you say, oh, someone at the door, and you rush to the door so the dog says, oh, it must be something quite exciting, I'll bark. If you don't stop them when they do that, they can be a bit naughty. But they, they, they and I always tell people if they buy a puppy from us, that they've got to stop that before it starts. Shetland Sheepdog, lovely looking dog with a long flowing coat. With that coat they need somebody who's got the time to groom them because you do need to keep on top of it. Uh, the coat is a double coat. It's got a soft undercoat which protects it from the weather and it's got a long top coat which is harsh and so if it rains the top coat will collect the rain and won't wet the skin. I think a Sheltie needs a good groom down to the skin once a week. But a good, uh, you don't just flick over with the brush two or three days maybe. And of course if they've been out for a walk and they get dirty then they need a bit of a clean. But they're not, they don't have a coat that knots up or mats up. They can have um, a condition, an eye condition called collie eye anomaly. Any good breeder always tests for collie eye. And if you're buying a Sheltie puppy you should ask to, if it's been tested and you should see evidence. We don't have hip dysplasia. It's not something that's a problem in the breed because they're a small breed. We have heard of shelters with hip dysplasia but it's usually if they're overweight. But it's not, as, it's not something that the breed has a problem with and we're very lucky we don't have a list of hereditary diseases. I like to see them with a, with a family, you know, mum and dad and two or three children, that's because they get so much pleasure from the dog. They give you so much pleasure, Shelties.